Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on automatically sorting data in Excel using VBA. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here an empty worksheet in Excel. I just have these two empty variables, participants and GPA. And I'm going to populate fictitious data into these variables. And I want to use code that will automatically sort by this GPA record. So the lowest GPA will be up top and then it'll the values of GPA will increase as we move down the column. And I want the participants to match with the GPA, the records as they're entered to match and the participant ID to move along with the GPA. So I don't want to just sort GPA, I want both columns to be updated based on GPA. So for example, for this participants column, column A, I'll use 1001, my first participant, and a GPA of 2.3. As I move down to the next row, participant 1002, I'll enter here a GPA of 2.2. So right at this moment, I want this record to move up to the top position and the top record to move down to row 3. So I want the GPA of 2.2 to be sorted so it's above 2.3 and the participant ID to move along with it. So let's take a look at code that will accomplish this task. So as I take a look at the Visual Basic Editor, I already have the window open and this is where I'll add the code but say this was closed when you entered into the Visual Basic Editor just double click on sheet 1 the data sheet that's the sheet that I'm working on here that has the participants column and the GPA column so we double click here on sheet 1 and now we have the window where we place the code so let's take a look at the code I paste it in private sub worksheet underscore change and then in parentheses by value target as Excel range. We have one if then statement here if target dot column equals two then. So this code, these three lines of code will execute when the target column is two and that of course is the GPA column the second column. And then down here of course we have the end if and the three lines of code inside this if statement we're going to declare last row as a variable and it's going to be declared as long. Taking a look at the next line of code here we have last row equals cells rows dot count comma two again looking at column two here dot end Excel up dot row. So that sets the value of last row to equal the last row in column 2. Again that B column, the GPA variable. And then we have the line of code that sorts the GPA variable and updates column A as well. So we want to sort by GPA, but of course we want column A, the participants column, to update as well. So range will be A2 colon B and that last row value which was calculated up here. So that's the range, that's dot sort and then key 1 colon equal sign. The range here is B2 colon B and then the last row. So that's the key. The key is the second column, the GPA column. Then we have comma and order one is Excel ascending and header colon equal sign Excel no. So we don't have we don't have a header here. And we want ascending for this sort. So the GPA values will increase as we move down the column. So we're sorting columns A and B based on the values 
in column B. So let's see how this code works. Move back to the worksheet. I'll add participant 1003. And for GPA, I'm going to select a GPA to enter here that is below the current GPAs I have in here, 2.2 and 2.3. So let's go with a GPA of 2.1. So after hitting enter, I expect this record to move to the top, this 1003 record to move to row two. And that's what it does. So it sorts right after I enter the value. I don't have to move over here to sort and filter and run this each time. I just need to enter the value. So 1004 for participant. And I'll put a GPA in here of 2.25. So I would expect it to be between 2.2 and 2.3 when I click enter and that's what it does. So this will sort the A and B columns based on these GPA values. I hope you found this video on automatically sorting values in Excel to be helpful. Thanks for watching.